Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is actually a clip that I am filming at the end of the day of the vlog you're about to watch. I just, I felt bad. <laughs> like, I start so many vlogs looking like a hot mess. Well, not really a hot mess, but like, you know, I'm more polished looking now and I feel like you guys deserve a more polished looking me at the beginning of videos. So here I am. Today's video is just going to be a random little vlog as well as an ab routine. Oh my God, I can't believe I filmed it. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. If you are new here, hello, my name is Julie. I post a whole bunch of different content here on my channel three times a week. Anything from perfume reviews, fitness content, which you will see later on in this video. I have a whole series on being a military significant other, which ties into a whole new series here on my channel about me getting ready for a wedding and planning a wedding. That's a crazy series that's going on right now. And of course, I love to vlog, which also is in this video. So if any of that sounds like things that you would enjoy to watch, make sure that you hit subscribe down below and then I'm gonna let Julie from like this morning take over now. But yeah, I just thought that I would say hello with more makeup on, my hair done, looking a little bit cuter than I do when I get all sweaty for the gym. So yeah, I'm gonna just. Good morning, guys. Do I ever like start off vlogs in the morning not looking like I just rolled out of bed? Because I did. And I'm actually heading to the gym to do fasted cardio, possibly a fasted workout. I feel pretty good. I need to get my BCAs ready and then let's just, let's head on out. I actually have no idea what the weather is like outside of this door right now because for the past week it's been over 65. It's been weirdly amazing. It's like January. I kind of want it to be snowing outside. Um, it's literally been almost 70 degrees for the past week. Sunny, gorgeous, amazing watch I step outside and it's like 20 and I'm underdressed. Got my women's best BCAs. Um, the water is like mildly pink colored because um, is it weird? I had like this much left over last night and I felt bad getting rid of it. So I just added more water to yesterday's BCAs and I'm adding another scoop to my BCAs. Is it weird? Don't judge me, don't care. Um, this is the fruit fusion flavor. I'll have a link down below to women's best love this stuff i never work out without my bcas so just about to step out the front door and this was waiting on the front porch let me just get my lefty scissors out of the drawer if you guys don't know i am a lefty these scissors are life-changing link to them on amazon down below these are the only scissors in the house so sergio actually is confused by why are the only scissors in the house so hard to use i'm like welcome to the story of my life you can buy your own scissors these are for me these are actually a pair of shoes that my brother got me as my Christmas present. He basically just sent me the money and told me to order the shoes myself. So that's exactly what I did. So I got myself a new pair of Nikes. These are the Air Max 270s. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, they are beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at them. If you guys want to be shoe twinsies with me, I will have a link to where I got them down below. I mean, I haven't tried them on yet, but I'm like, pretty sure they're gonna be amazing. I love Nike shoes and I just, this is so cool looking. I thought it was actually gonna be like opaque pink, but it's not, but I kind of prefer that it's not. Oh my God, guys, look how nice Archie's paws are. Not my shoes, obviously not the gorgeous new shoes. Thank you so much, Nick, for making sure that I look nice and stylish and probably many an Insta pic to come. And yes, Archie, your feet are also very, very cute. Thank you for letting them know. They feel so nice. Like, they're really like springy. Perfect size, true to size. That's what the back of the shoes looks like and also a not so subtle do you even on my leg. Which, by the way guys, 10% off of do you even if you use Julie 10. Gets you 10% off. And if you guys wanna support your girl and you know, help her buy a new pair of headphones, every little bit helps and I really appreciate each and every single one of you. All right, let's go to the gym. My memory card just glitched out on me. Um. I don't know why. I need to get a new memory card for this camera because for some reason it doesn't work in this camera and I just lost like four minutes of me babbling. This is my pre-workout for the day. If you guys remember, back when I was keto this past summer, Bang actually sent me like a whole bunch of their keto-friendly beverages, including this new flavor of theirs, which was new then. At this point, it's not really like new, new, but Rainbow Unicorn. Um, I never really got to drink any of the Rainbow Unicorn stuff because it turns out Sergio really liked it and he drank all of them. I got like one sip. Should have been vlogging yesterday. I did like a whole bunch of fun random stuff. Not fun, but like there was vloggable moments and I was like, damn, 
I should have been vlogging. I was running errands and I realized I forgot to prepare a pre-workout beverage. So I was heading to GNC to get myself like a quick one-time drink. And somehow I got lost on my way to GNC and I ended up in the parking lot of Vitamin Shop. You guys, the Vitamin Shop had crates of rainbow unicorn. Mm. This stuff is delicious. I wish I knew how to explain like drink flavors. Perfume reviews, I got you guys. I can explain a whole bunch of different notes to you, make you feel like you're smelling it yourselves. Beverages, uh, I don't know. Fruity, tastes like tutti fruity kind of. Maybe like cotton candy, but not really because they're cotton candy flavor. I've had that taste different. I guess like tutti fruity. It tastes like what you would expect a rainbow unicorn to taste like, I guess, maybe, like, yeah. There are like three army planes flying overhead right now. Like, we're kind of far from post. They're not gonna be like dropping them way out here. There's no drop zone this far down, I don't think. That'd be weird. We're not on post. That's weird. Speaking of army stuff though, oh my God, guys, I needed to take NyQuil to fall asleep last night because I don't know what they're doing out there in the field, but it's just nonstop noise. And for some reason, they like to wait until it's nighttime when people should be sleeping to start the explosions, like all day, silent, nothing, quiet. Eight o'clock at night though, let's start blowing shit up. Like, there's no other way to say it. It was like just constant explosions. It's not even like a machine gun range where it's like ba 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 ba, silence. Ba 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 ba, silence. Or just like regular shooting where it's like ba ba. Silence, ba, ba, silence. No, it's like boom, 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 boom. They're literally like exploding things and shooting things and it sounds like, I don't know, like giants are stomping around my neighborhood because the house is shaking incessantly and I couldn't fall asleep for the life of me so I needed to take NyQuil to make myself pass out. And then I woke up this morning at like 6.30 in the morning because they were doing it again. I was like, why don't they stop? I don't understand, like it just, I mean, they might have been doing it all night. Maybe the NyQuil wore off at 6.30 and it woke me up at that point. And I just, I don't understand. Why can't they do it now? Like when people are at work and not home and stuff, like this is a perfectly fine time when people are awake, blow things up now. Now let's do it in the middle of the night and at the butt crack of dawn. Anyway, I got like one sip left. Let's go get this cardio done.
All right, it's been a couple hours since I last saw you guys. Obviously, I've come home, I've showered, I've done my hair, I've done my makeup, I've changed, you know, everything. Of course, my camera died, like, right after my workout, so at least I managed to get most of my workout recorded for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a, like, ab routine from me. I don't think I've ever filmed ab workouts for YouTube. Something about, like, ab workouts and recording them, like, stresses me out, probably because, like, I don't have like the most shreddy abs like if I'm posing and like flexing like you can see my abs and like you can feel them in there there's definitely abs in here just I don't know something about like working out abs on camera like stresses me out I don't know maybe because like when you're doing crunches like you can see like my squish I know it's stupid like I need to get over it so I finally pushed myself to filming a ab workout for you guys today let me know if you enjoyed it I decided to do a like no equipment necessary don't even need to go to the gym type of ab workout so like if you guys are watching at home and you maybe you don't have a gym membership or you don't feel like going to the gym you just want to do some abs real quick you can just lay down on the floor and do your ab workout I kind of neglected doing abs for a while I just I don't know, I got into this weird routine of like not wanting to work out abs for some reason. Part of my New Year's resolution, other than obviously getting shreddy for the wedding, was to just do more abs, like at minimum. Do abs every other day, maybe only like two workouts, just a couple sets, just a few minutes of ab work every other day, minimum. I've been pretty good at it so far, I mean it is still like January, so... I haven't had too much time to fall off the wagon. I honestly already like feel a difference. Like I have abs, I know I have abs, but I feel them like firming up and I don't know. I, I just, I'm proud of myself for sticking to it. And I'm also very proud of myself for filming an ab workout. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it and let me know if you want to see me, I think basically finish up my top five workout series because I think I did everything but abs. I'm pretty sure that I covered quads, hammies, glutes, lower and upper back, chest, biceps, and triceps, and did I do shoulders? I might have included shoulders in something else because I kind of always just do shoulders as like an add-on. So let me know if you guys want to see a top five ab workouts other than just like body weight ones, though I could definitely do like a top five ab workout. So that was the workout, and honestly, the rest of today I've spent editing. I had a photo job I have to edit and I have two video jobs that aren't like YouTube videos. Like I do event videography and I have two events that I need to edit, finish up, finalize, send them off. And then I did a gender reveal photo shoot about a week ago. Yeah, so I need to finish editing up those so that they can announce the gender of their baby to all of the Facebook friends and everything like that. So that's just been my day and answering emails, just boring stuff. I did want to show you guys real quick though. I went to Target yesterday. You know how they say like, you don't go to Target knowing what you need. You go to Target and let Target tell you what you need. So I went into Target to buy some rice. Ow, my shoulder. I've been holding this thing up for six minutes and it's, oh, ow. Shoulder workout, like tiny little camera, anyway. I'm in there for the rice and I was gonna see if they had like the bang energy stuff. They didn't. I had to go to the vitamin shop and GNC, the whole story I told you earlier. But obviously when you go to Target you end up buying things that you didn't really go in there needing to get. And I almost walked out of there with like four pillows. I contained myself on the pillows. But I ended up getting RG2 toys. One of them is way on the other end of the house. Like this little pizza that's crunchy and it's just... I had to, like the New Yorker in me had to. But next to the pizza was the last one of these uh, silent squeak toys. Like it's apparently at a frequency that humans can't hear, but dogs can hear. I don't, I don't know if I believe it. Cause like he does sort of react to it, but I mean, I do hear the, that sound. Um, I don't know. He really liked it. And it was uh, made with this, chew guard technology or something like that um which is great except for the fact that it's um it's been less than 24 hours and uh it's only got one foot left so i mean you can see the chew guard technology in there you can see it it looks pretty sturdy but also like maybe it'd be good if it was just like a ball or something that didn't have little wings and legs because uh obviously that didn't stop him, so. Best slash worst $7 or $9 I've ever spent. 
I don't know if it's why. I mean, I don't hear him running. I don't think he hears it. You know, I, I think it's a joke. So I think I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. I need to get back to editing all of those photos and videos and stuff. I did take a little break to uh, take some pics, you know, the usual, and I need to get back to work, so. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me. I would love to keep up with you guys across all of my social media platforms, especially on Instagram, where you will see all of the pictures that I just took posted within the next week, two, something like that. I always have links to them all in the description box down below, as well as links to anything that I mentioned throughout this video. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you totally should. I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!